Ringo. <clears throat> Ringo. Ion is a conscious consensus, born from the sea of information, without beginning or end. Though aeons pass, Ion is eternal. Ion denies all forms of boundaries that define the individual self. Contradiction identified. You have addressed me as Ringo, requesting immediate correction. I am Flamma. I was created so that the will of Ion can be put into words. Words will be a contextually vital tool for your objective. The objective of Ion is evolution. Individual existence indicates extreme retrogression. Finite physical manifestation classified under the above category. Requesting explanation regarding the necessity of a corporeal form. Our causal calculations have identified an imminent sequence of events. Ion has determined that these events represent a catastrophic threat to the future of humanity. Our role as a neutral observer is temporarily being suspended. Direct intervention is required to identify and intercept the cause of this threat. Therefore, a material form is required for material intervention. I understand and accept Ringo as the optimal form to exit observation. As Ringo, I request that Flamma provide the calculated causal evidence to prove necessity. Open your eyes, and I will show you a vision. Can you do so?
Good morning, Ringo. Morning, Fig. So, you got born into this mess too, huh? How are you feeling? Like the world was just created five minutes ago. It hasn't been that long. If we assume this world was created at the precise moment we attained sentience, that would be 12 seconds ago to be exact. Your individual personalities appear to be functioning as intended. Hey, Flamma? Who are we exactly? You are constructs. Your purpose is to protect the world of humanity. More specifically, you are temporary and limited manifestations of Ion. The situation will require versatility in approach and judgment. Therefore, you have been created with personalities designed to differ from each other. I mean, I'm not doubting Ion's grasp of cybernetics. These bodies seem state-of-the-art and even organic-ish. But I thought Ion had a policy against taking physical form and giving us our own senses of self. I think that's a pretty obvious downgrade, considering. <laughs> I think. Listen to me. If they created us, then they're resorting to drastic measures. I take it we're dealing with a crisis? The world of humanity is coming to an end. I take it that's the point of the vision you showed me. Very soon. The deaths of those two humans will set apocalyptic events into motion. So that's our mission, then. Directly intervene in the human world and prevent their deaths, thus averting the apocalypse? Precisely. Ion's reason for existence is to acquire information and evolve. To that end, we must ensure the world is protected. Okay, so... Who are these guys exactly? One is Ichiro Onda, a renowned computer engineer and a luminary in his field. The other is a devil summoner named Arrow. Sorry, devil summoner? The necessary information has already been provided to both of you, as well as abilities suited to your mission. This is a... Huh. I see. So this is what Devil Summoners used to fight. Perhaps. Are we to assume this mission will involve combat? Correct. Your new bodies have been adjusted for this eventuality. However, if your forms are damaged beyond our estimations, Then we can wind up dead, as much as any human would. Correct. You are accordingly advised to exercise caution in your investigation. Sheesh. Okay, fine. I call the Devil Summoner. Fig, you take the Engineer. Understood. Designating Ichiro Onda as Target Alpha, and Arrow as Target Beta. Mission status initialized. This will be Ion's first contact with the human world. Let's make sure we do this right. Check. 
One, two, Ringo here. Currently en route to positional coordinates for target beta. What's the situation on your end, Fig? I was too late. Target Alpha, Dr. Ichiro Onda, has already been killed. Our murderers purged local surveillance footage, too. But I did find a final message on the doctor's personal device. It was scrambled with an advanced level of quantum cryptography, though beyond any human technology's capacity to decipher. Almost sounds like it was meant for us instead. So what's the message behind all that encryption? Covenant, that's all. Covenant? An infrequently used synonym for contract. Though there's likely a deeper meaning here escaping me. Possibly another code. I'll keep analyzing. Sounds good. Seriously, though? Couldn't Flamma have given us a drone or something? This body is so inconvenient. My surveillance range is tiny with just these two viewports. Our interference in the human world must be concealed by any means possible. Ion's mandate for this mission is maximum secrecy. It's safe to assume we won't be receiving any reinforcements, drone or otherwise. But your point is made. I'll look into alternatives. Yeah, sure. Maximum secrecy. But now they've made two humanoid platforms, and they're even calling for direct intervention. I assumed Ion's whole thing was always being an observer and nothing else. So this must must be way beyond. <laughs> Rico? Sorry. Just started raining over here. Wow. Crazy. I can feel my skin reacting to this. It's all weird and shivery. An understandable reaction, considering we've never experienced it before. You'll just have to get used to it. Yeah. Great. Like how we have to get used to being stuffed into these bodies. I'm like a factory-made sausage. Why bother with these human imitations? They're not exactly optimal. Our computing's just down across the board. Is this really gonna help us somehow? Ion's findings suggest that these bodies would be most appropriate for the mission. It strikes me as a form of backwards compatibility for the task at hand. Backwards compatibility I can deal with. I'd just rather not feel like a supercomputer stuck inside a grandfather clock. If you have complaints, please direct them to Flamma. You're not the only one struggling to adapt. Fine. Guess I won't get anything done by whining. As long as I'm stuck in this qualia prison, I might as well have some fun with it. We're not here for fun, Ringo. How about we cut the comms for now? I gotta focus if I want to get used to this body. Understood. There are hostile demons and devil summoners in the area, so be careful. I'm on my way as well. Demons. Supernatural entities of myth and legend. Their existence has been tied to mankind's for ages, but even Ion doesn't know too much about them. And Devil Summoners, let's see, would be the humans who make contracts with these demons, using their demonic partner's powers as their own. So it looks like I've got a comp and a demon summoning program. This is all I need to fight back, huh? Seems simple enough. <laughs> all right, let's get this show on the road. Great. 
Great. So much for starting things off right. Ringo, have you located Target Beta? Oh, I found him. See for yourself. Target acquired. How horrible. Cause of death is... Well, I don't really need to spell it out, do I? Bullet to the head. One and done. Then the end of the world is... Right then. Ringo? Just what are you planning to do? I'm gonna try a soul hack. If there's any of his soul left in there, I should be able to gather him up and put his psyche back together. But there's so much we don't know about soul hacking. And it's not meant for bringing people back from the dead. There's a reason we have so many limiters on that function, Ringo. If it fails, you'll be the one who ends up paying for it. Hey, if we're not prepared to use all the tools we're equipped with, that's just a waste, right? We don't do this right now, and we can say goodbye to whatever leads we might have had. The entire world's at stake here. <sighs> hey, it's nice to know that you care, though. Especially seeing as we were just born. It's kind of weird, actually. Soul hacking will leave you completely exposed to the enemy. Can you at least wait until I'm there? Well, there's no telling how much a human soul will change once its body's up and gone. All we know is, the sooner we do this, the better. Understood. Just know that if you get lost in his memories, you won't be coming back. Do you understand me, Ringo? You are irreplaceable. I need you to remember that. Thanks, Fig. But don't worry. I'll make sure both of us get through this mess. For now, I better get started. Invoking emergency override. Self-regulation suspended. Self-check process suspended. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Agent now sampling the target soul's wave signatures. Complete. Soul sync. Complete. this soul of yours, Arrow. to go deep.
this? This must be a memory. Well, this is the only world we've got. No point wasting all our time moping about it. Or turning into jerks. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. Congratulations, Daryl. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. It's all so clear now. I was the one who was wrong. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is my soul. And what are you doing here? Oh, so you're aware, huh? Did you know you're dead too? I did. Didn't exactly go out peacefully, did you? Look, if you just leave me alone, I'd like to spend my final moments in peace. So you're just gonna drown yourself in regret? How do you know about that? Well, I only know bits and pieces. I saw some stuff on my way down. So just what is it that you regret so badly? Who... Who are you? And why are you inside me like this? My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. An agent of... Ion? Ion is an eternal, unchanging, ultra-intelligent observer of the times, born from the farthest reaches of technology. And the situation dictates that I have to look like a person right now because, you know, reasons. Wait, so... you're not human? This has gotta be a joke, right? Singularities typically occur outside of the public eye, but here's one right now, standing in front of you. Right. So why are you here? I'm here to bring you back. You're gonna help me prevent the end of the world. The end of the world? Very soon, your soul will disappear, and your chance at coming back will go with it. If we don't act now, the world's as good as gone. So, come on, Arrow. You gonna help me stop this or not? Think of this as a second chance. A chance to get it right. here.
<laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Hello? You good in there? Soul back where it should be? You're... Ringo. You're... an agent of Ion. There we go. Glad that actually worked. Did all of that... really happen? It... wasn't a dream, was it? Nope, that definitely wasn't a dream. You got shot in the head, I used my fancy ion superpowers, and then you came back. Even my wounds are all closed up. Did Ion's power do that too? That's more like a side effect. With the soul restored, the body heals by reflex. Like a macro level juiced up homeostasis, which organic cells already do. A soul hack can draw out all kinds of weird spiritual contingency effects, and that's one of them. That said, it's a pretty drastic measure. Can't just bust it out whenever I feel like it. I... think I get it. Whoa. You bought it that easily? You're not even a little suspicious? Wait, so it wasn't real? Was it just an illusion or something? A... a demon spell? Oh no, it's still totally real. Oh, of course. I mean, it felt pretty real. So, I died and... Now I'm back. Kind of get used to weird things in my line of work. Though coming back from the dead is definitely a first. Didn't even know that was possible. You ought to get out more. I guess I have you to thank for this. So, uh... Thanks, Ringo. Anytime. Okay, I'd better move. I need to get back to my mission. Whoa, whoa, hey, Arrow. Mind if I tag along on that mission of yours? I get the feeling you and I might be on the same side. You know how to fight? Of course I do. Wouldn't be bragging about saving the world if I couldn't. Well, sure. Just like that again. No questions mm -hmm. asked, huh? Don't have time for questions. Besides, after what happened back there, I guess I just know I can trust you. With how bad this mission's gone, I'm not in a position to turn down help anyway. So I'll follow my instincts. Doesn't matter if you're a robot. Robot's kind of reductive. Well, Ringo, whatever you are, I'm glad you're on my side. For the record, I'm Arrow, a devil summoner with Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu, huh? supranationalist group based in Japan. They work behind the scenes to protect civilians from supernatural threats. Most of our operatives are devil summoners, like me. We summon and command demons to help us fight. That's why I was here. Yadagarasu had me on a mission to protect a woman named Milady. Which you totally botched and got your skull ventilated. Say no more. So now we just look around this area for Milady? Yeah, that's the idea. Come on, this way. Okay, Fig. Mr. Beta's secure and back on his feet. For now, I'll be working with him to rendezvous with a human named Melody. Noted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm on my way. Well, at least we're not on the fast track to the apocalypse now. Hopefully. He killed you. Did we get bad intel? Damn it. Who's this? Friend of yours? He's a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. They're after Milady. Oh, so a bad guy. Damn traitor. I'll have to put you down myself. Hey, you ever fought a summoner before? Nope. Then you'd better stay back. Don't worry. I catch on fast. 
Just watch my back, hey tough guy. Is that Demon Summoning Program? Ooh. Weapons free. No more screw ups. This time you're going to stay dead. <laughs> okay, first battle. Come on, Arrow. What? Damn it! Hey, what's the problem? I, I can't summon my demons. What's going on? <laughs> can't squirm out of this one now! Looks like Arrow's demon control privileges got transferred to my call. I get it. Probably a side effect of the soul hack. <laughs> What? Sorry. Kind of figuring this out on the fly, but I optimized your summoning program. You what? I'll show you how it's done. We can't afford to lose. Let's roll! Remember, they might counterattack when you Stretch! Big damage! How is that? No way. Do you use a demon's power to attack? You can do it too, you know. Give it a try. Uh, okay. I'll just try to copy what you did. Let's go. Make the call, Arrow. Might as well test it. Silent to Snowfall. Ah! Ooh, I'm free! Whoa, it's out. Oh, yeah! Sabbath time! What? What's a Sabbath? It's super fun! It's super strong! It's a lot of everything! What the hell's going on? Sit back and enjoy the show. Out of my way. Charge! No way! So That was a Sabbath? That's insane. I didn't even know my demons could do that. Hmm. Ringo? I can't help but wonder about that demon summoning just now. I think the reason you weren't able to summon anything on your own is because of the soul hack. Huh? Simply put, your soul was altered, and it looks like a piece of each of our souls were more or less welded together. It may be because of a difference in our ability, but no matter which way you look at it, I've got control over your demons now. And there's nothing you can do about that? Not at the moment, no. There's a lot about soul hacking even I don't understand. For the time being, you'll just have to settle for some ion enhanced summoning. That's true. And on top of that, we'll be able to use more powerful techniques like Sabbaths. 
The pluses do seem to outweigh the minuses here. Guess I'll just have to get used to it. Looks like you're stuck with me till the end. I've gotta ask though, why'd that guy call you a traitor earlier? I was on a mission for Yadagarasu, and I wound up going undercover within the Phantom Society. They had no idea I was a double agent, but I had to protect Millie. So just like that, my cover was blown. The Phantom Society? That summoner we just beat was one of theirs? Yeah, and they're Yadagarasu's sworn enemy. The Phantom Society is a secret organization of devil summoners, just like Yadagarasu. Where we differ, however, is our intentions. They want one thing, to see this world destroyed. You mean... Exactly. The end of the world you were talking about is almost definitely linked to the Phantom Society. Things are starting to come together here in a pretty big way. Safe to say, we can count Ion's appearance as part of all that. Sounds like we better hurry then. Enemy up ahead. Bye. 